Hi, my name is Patricia Rose and I'm a bilingual speech language pathologist and today I want to teach you how to do speech therapy for your three to four year old if you're home and you're not able to get to a speech therapist you know as fast as you would like you can definitely try some of these tips at home that would be beneficial to be able to improve your child's language skills so the first thing that I want to discuss really quick is what do we target when a child comes in between the ages of three to four so we do an assessment and this assessment has different developmental milestones that your child should be meeting for this video and these purposes we're going to target today we're going to do plurals we're going to do adjectives um and we're going to do a little bit of the alphabet so these are things that your three to four year old child should be able to do that would be considered appropriate for their age so plurals what do we do when your child only says, you know, cat instead of cats, right? How do we teach that? So plurals have to do with one-to-one -one correspondence, right? What is one-to-one -one correspondence means? So it means can you actually count objects, right? So it's one thing when your child says, you know, number one, two, three, four, five, six, but can they actually count six objects? Like this one thing goes with the number one. Now we have two, and now these two things go with one and two. That's what one-to-one -one correspondence means. One number to one item, pretty much, right? So we wanna be able to teach your child to count, meaning can they count things? Can they count three crayons? And it actually be three crayons, right? So one-to-one -one correspondence as well as plurals is something that we wanna make sure that your child kinda has a concept for and can after that, put the S at the end of the word. So how do we teach plurals? So there's a few cute little books that you can use. For example, the Cheerios book is really, really cute. Let's go to that one first, because you actually get to do one-to-one -one correspondence with the Cheerios as well as putting plurals to the words, right? So for example, um, we would get Cheerios, right? And there's three monkeys. So we would count one, two, three what? Three monkeys. And we would emphasize the S at every single word that we would use. We would then, you know, continue with the seals. So how many seals are there? There's one, two, three seals. We would emphasize the S. So first we want your child to point. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll kind of start to relate and understand that I think that pointing is a really big factor in your child's language. Before your child can talk or can identify, it should be able to point. Pointing is highly correlated with good and appropriate language skills in the future. So you want to teach your child to point. What do you do if they don't point? It's very simple. You hand over hand, take out their pointing fingers, and we're going to point. And that's gonna be our job for today, just pointing. So we're going to point and we're gonna count one seal, two seals, three seals. So we're gonna put the S at the end, very, very accentuated, because that's what we wanna teach, right? We wanna teach to count one number to one object and we wanna teach the S at the end so we can do plurals. So with the Cheerios, it's pretty awesome because you would actually be able to count one Cheerio or two Cheerios at a time. So I would definitely start with very simple ones like three Cheerios, you know, I wouldn't go past five Cheerios because we want to keep it simple and we want to give your child tasks that they're going to succeed at. I think the most important part of therapy is to feel good about what you do and to be able to achieve milestones and reach goals. If you make 10 Cheerios, your child might get lost trying to count all the Cheerios and then it might be a little bit disappointing. They might not want to do it. So you want to be able to do simple tasks and then you want to celebrate them really, really, really big. So you're like, oh my God, yes, three Cheerios. So you're going to emphasize the S and you're going to make sure that they're counting appropriately, right? We're going to count the Cheerios appropriately. One Cheerio to one, two Cheerios to two. We're not just going to be like, all right, one, two, three, okay, three. And then they have four Cheerios in their hands. That's not what we want. We want to make sure that they could do one to one box. So here it's flowers. You know, what are these? These are flowers. And you're going to add the S at the end. So you're going to do the carrier phrase. You're going to say, these are flower. And you want the child to say flowers, right? So 
while you do that then you're going to add the cheerios one to one one cheerio per little spot you cannot put two cheerios in the little spot so this book is pretty cool and very easy to be able to teach the one to one there's one whole one cheerio one whole one cheerio right and you'd be able to go through the book which is really really cute you know and then you'd be able to do the one to one with the cheerios you're also able to do plurals because there's one and two cats so you could do both things with the book and this is a skill that we look for as SOPs to make sure that a four-year-old can definitely use plurals. You know, you want to be able to say, what are these? And you want your four-year-old to say, these are cats. We don't want to hear cats, right? So this little book, it was a really good find to be able to put both purposes to the test and be able to teach it in a manner that kids like it's fun it's cute it's colorful and always they get to do something with their hands things that are done with your hands is better because kids like to touch things they want to be entertained so while they count and touch and place you know you're actually teaching plurals in a good and fun way so cheerios book must there's also a numbers book which is really cute too you know because you could touch and you know there's two chicks and you can actually feel as you go along and it's very simple words which your child can say so here are th one two three apples um all the words in it are pretty simple they're common label they're common words that we use every single day they're colorful and it only goes up to 10 so this is good we don't want to keep counting and counting and counting and overwhelm your child so the little numbers book the cheerios book awesome for plurals this is what i use in my office and this is what i will use to teach kids how to learn to count one to one and use plurals another developmental milestone we look for in a four-year-old is can they identify letters so i really like these big books this one is called the big let me show you the title it's called the big book dictionary and it's big, it's colorful, and it has so many cool things inside that you can use for so many different purposes. And I like materials that I could use for many different purposes because it's better to carry, you know, one big book than to have to carry a lot of little books. So in this case, for a four-year-old, we want to make sure that they know some letters, right? So if your child doesn't know any of the letters, it's okay. It's teachable. It's definitely something your kid can learn um so don't freak out if they don't but if you're going to start teaching the alphabet i suggest that you start by teaching just a few letters at a time and common letters right letters that we use letter that your ch child can say we're not going to go and try to teach them you know the u when the u is a little bit more difficult the x the y the z those words those letters per se are a little bit harder I would definitely start with A for apple and B. I would do the M's and I would do the P. These are the things that I would teach. I would I would also teach the, the S and the T. Um, those are kind of common, easier, you know, letters to teach. And then the way I would do it, and if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I always try to keep things in an organized hierarchical, in a hierarchy kind of way. So first you want your child to point at the letters. First you're gonna pick, let's pick the five letters. We're gonna pick A, we're gonna pick M, we're gonna pick P, which is over here. Let's just keep it on the same page. So we're gonna use A, we're gonna use B, we're gonna use S and M, for example. We're gonna pick four letters, A, B, M, and S. So first we're gonna ask your child to point and we want them to point so which one is B? Which one is M? Once your child can identify those four, we want them to label it. So what letter is this? What letter is this? Once your child has mastered those four, we're gonna add another, maybe another three to four. And then we'll move on to the H for hat. We can move on to the T and you would do it exactly the same way, right? We are gonna find four more 
that you're going to point to and then you're going to ask for them to label what the letter is, right? We're not going to move into sounds right now, but we're just going to ask for them to identify and then to label. And then I would move through the whole alphabet in the same exact way and, you know, repeat this every single day, add a few more words, make sure that if your child doesn't know, they're not frustrated, they're not disappointed, you know, you just... You keep trying and you keep working on different sounds to until they get all the letters of the alphabet. Because the alphabet is one of those milestones that we are looking for. We are not looking for every single letter in the alphabet, but we're looking for some. Like I said, the simple ones. Um, in this big book, you can also teach adjectives. And adjectives is something that a uh, three to four year old should start to be using because we need their sentences to be longer and we need to add words to these sentences to describe what we're doing, what we're seeing. So usually the next few steps is adding pronouns and adding adjectives. So adjectives is pretty good. You can teach adjectives in a million different ways. For this purpose today, since I have the book in my hand, let's do colors, right? Um, colors is an easy adjective word to, to add to make sentences longer, right? Now this, this is a house but now this is a greenhouse so we've made that sentence longer now because we added a color to it so you can definitely teach your four-year-old colors you could teach some shapes these are kind of things that we consider kind of automatic language color shapes numbers because you know they're not multifunctional kind of words that you could use for everything you know it's a color it's attached to one specific thing so you want to be able to teach these things um, in an organized way. Like I said, as I've said before, you want first to point and then you want to ask. You're not going to do a bunch of colors at the same time. You're going to use three colors and we're going to pick basic, right? Red, yellow, blue. We're going to pick those three and then we're going to say, oh my God, show me something blue. And then they can point, show me something red. And then they can point, right? And you can even say, you know, you can add verbs with show me something green and he is painting and then you know they can show you a specific one and then they can identify verbs as well so you want to be able to have the child point first and then you're going to ask what color is this right and before you can say that independently you're going to add the carrier phrase at the end you're going to say oh my god this color is you can give them a clue, you know, a, a prompt, which, you know, let's say a clue. So we're going to say, Grr. if they don't know it, you're going to say, Grr. you're going to start it for them, green, so they can finish it. So this is the way I would definitely teach colors to a patient. I can also, you know, get crayons and we sort it. Sorting is also a really good skill to teach colors because to be able to get the idea or the gist of it you want to classify things so, so you'd be able to put all the green blocks over here all the blue blocks over here and all the red blocks over here and then you have them sort the colors and then they can identify the color and then they can label the color so colors is good and we want adjectives so we can also teach you know big and small for example you know these are you know skinny carrots these are red peppers so you want to be able to add different adjectives as you go along don't overwhelm your child with so many different ones like let's go through colors we'll pick colors and then we can do different things like we could do big and small we can do skinny and wide we can do tall and short we can do different things to add adjectives to the sentences to make them longer but i definitely wouldn't be adding so many different kinds all at the same time so for the purpose of this video i think that plurals is one of the most important things to teach your three to four year old i think letters identify some letters is definitely a milestone that we want to reach by this age and adjectives such as colors you know you can also teach shapes and you can teach big and small and those are kind of part you know different kinds of prepositions but there's still words that can make the sentence longer which is what we want we want a four-year-old to be able to have a long utterance instead of a, a smaller one that a three-year-old would have because by the time your child reaches four and a half to five years old their 80 percent of their language skills is already 
should already be in place, we only technically add about 20% more as vocabulary words as we go along through adulthood. So by four, almost five, we want to make sure that their sentences and their conversation level is long. So we want to add adjectives, we want to add prepositions, we want to add pronouns, we want to add all these words to be able to create longer utterances. And these books are definitely good for doing multiple of multiple things that you can do with your four-year-old. So for this video, let me know if it works. Leave me your comments below. Share your messages with me. You can also look me up on Instagram. I have been sharing a few more tips and reels about different things so we'll chat soon